Okay, joining us live now here at Hillsborough after a nil-nil draw in the FA Cup third round. Nathan, pleased with that uh, opportunity for a replay against a championship side? No, what I'm pleased is, I'm not pleased with the replay, I'm not pleased with anything. I'm pleased with the fact that we've come here and been as good as a very good championship side. Um, they've they've beaten sides. They've you know they've they've they've, they've unbeaten in four from beating Middlesbrough. Um, you know they've they've gone to West Brom and drawn. These are a good side, and I thought we were outstanding. I thought we were outstanding, and you should be enthused in up here. So if you're going to ask me questions, make sure there's some enthusiasm in them because I'm beaming, and I thought we were excellent. And we've come here where we've come from. These are as I said, an established championship club, and to say we've been better would be slightly harsh. But it's an even game. It's a real even game. It was it was a championship game. So if anyone turned up here today and thought, yeah, this is a championship game, and it was, and that's why I'm pleased at, because we are at that level, and I'm really, really delighted. In second half, they had to change and match us up. They, had, they went to diamond, something that they don't do, and that made me proud as well, because it shows our structure is very good. And I'm so pleased to know what they did, and, uh, and I'm very proud, because yeah, it would have been harsh if either side had nicked it, because it was such an even game. But for us to come as a League One side to a championship side and to do that, supremely proud. I mean, you, you certainly couldn't, any neutral watching on TV or hearing the, uh, the crowd today couldn't have uh, said that one side was a, a league above the other as far as current league tables are concerned. Absolutely not, absolutely not and uh, I said the, the only time they threatened us really was when they went a bit more direct and they've got big size and good strikers you know that, uh, that cost them a lot of money that they pay a lot of money to so we knew that and I think if to be honest with a little bit more cutting edge we, we probably could have won it because we had some great opportunities first half we showed real good structure we pressed at the right times we, we had good counter-attack we got good areas um, and it was just lacked that little bit second half we got into great great areas as well but I thought all round to a man we were outstanding we defended the box magnificently well we pressed we worked hard I'm, 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 I, I think this is a great club a great day for, for Luton Town Football Club 4,000 fans cheering and a wonderful performance and it showed that it's not a, a defence backed against the wall scrapped finally got it clean off the line and bar and it, it weren't that type of performance it was structured it was composed and I'm, I'm proud of them, and you should be. Yeah, certainly am. I mean, it was a terrific performance uh, across the, the board there, out there for the players that uh, were playing for Luton Town and representing the club today. And it shows the potential that going forwards, uh, the, the next level Luton can play out without a problem. Well, we want to be it in eight months' time, and this be the norm. That's what we want, and we believe that we're not too far off the level. Look, some real good sides in our league um, uh, in terms of we'll have the same aspirations and, and our big, big clubs. But we're on the right path, and we're doing wonderful work. And I'm pleased because this was a test, and we said, go and test yourself. If you want to be here in eight months' time, then test yourself. And we've come to Hillsborough, effectively got a draw. So we take a point away from Hillsborough if, if it was a league game, because they didn't change any. That was the strongest side they can put out, and they put it out because they, they, they had to. And I'm, I'm pleased with that. And it, they showed us massive respect. We showed them massive respect. And, uh, yeah, it's an extra game, but what a wonderful, wonderful performance. You mentioned the, the lack of cutting edge at times. There was one or two chances, weren't there, where perhaps on another day the finish is there or the pass is there to, to, to finish the move and, and get the goal. But just one of those things. At times. But I just thought we lacked a little bit of bit of energy late on. I mean, we've had a ridiculous Christmas. The games, I mean, as I said, we keep saying, but it's stupidity, it's absolute stupidity. You know, the, the, the amount of games to, to be able at the level that you are and uh, for us to be away twice over Christmas and the big journeys and then to come away again because this should have been a home game for us today in terms of having Portsmouth. But it's just mental, it's crazy. Whoever's single needs, needs, needs a real good talking to, as we've said. But And, and that's probably the, the difference. We lack that little bit of sharpness probably in the final third that we've, we've showed. But, but that's what January is. But I, look, I, I couldn't be any prouder of them. I couldn't be any prouder of my club. I couldn't be any proud of, of my players and, and everything. And the fans, magnificent. Was there any temptation given that uh, fixtures that we've had over a busy festive period and the FA Cup and then looking ahead to the league games coming up, any temptation to um, change the side around to give players a rest or was it always in your mind that you were putting out the strongest side for this game? Today? No, look, it, it crossed our mind to, to do things and to keep everyone ticked on but we've got to pay these respect, you know, if we don't then we could get beaten and you could get badly beaten if you tried to take the game to and I didn't want it to be like that, you know, we got 4,000 fans travelling travelling here that, that, that didn't want to just come for a day out, they wanted to see a performance and they go home very proud tonight of their, of their football club so we are it's an extra game and it's yeah it's not not ideal um but you know the the, the financial ramifications of, of everything sort of take over and uh, uh, well not take over but, but 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 come into play so so look yeah it's it's not ideal um but we've got a big month and we know that and it's even bigger now and and, and so on but we're gonna have to use the squad
you've made one change for the game today. Luke Berry getting his first start since uh, that injury of Colchester. Just talk to us about that decision. Well, he's been chomping at the bit, and uh, we, we needed to. Pelly's had big, big shifts, and he needs uh, needed rest because he was ill the other day and still played 90 minutes and, uh, and went through it. So he hasn't trained since. So Barry, it's the right time to bring Barry in, and we need to know, that, you know, is Barry going to be at it? And he showed today. I mean, he showed like he hadn't been out, you know, to come here again against the calibre of opposition. And I thought he was outstanding and, and, and fair play to the kid. And you made the changes in the second half, but that didn't disrupt anything, did it? it just Everything carried on as it was, and it was just trying to get that, that late breakthrough that it, it wasn't to be. No, look, and we would have liked to because it would have meant the, you know, a, 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 that we wouldn't have had the second game. It would have been an upset here and, and, and so on. But I'm very proud. I'm very pleased. You know, I, I couldn't ask any more for them. Uh, to be honest, with you, in the shifts they've put, they've put in, in under tough of a tough schedule, I, I couldn't be any prouder. And it's, it's a good day for the club. It really is a good day for the club. And we'll have another good day in uh, back at Kenilworth, where they have to come down and. Uh, chance of an upset. And just finally a word, you've mentioned it already, over 4,200 Luton fans making the journey up. They've got the long trip to Sunderland next week as well, but uh, what support and uh, cheering them on for the whole game and certainly from here in the press area, they were the noisier fans from what we could hear. Yeah, and I think our performance silenced them. It was only disgruntled things I heard in the round, which shows that an away side has come here and, and done well. And Look, the, the fans were absolutely brilliant. They brought a tear to my eye at the end, and, and I said it's been quite an emotional day because it's a test for us because we preach certain stuff, we say we're going to be this, we say we want to be that. So then when test comes up, it's nice to come through. I mean, this time last year we went to Middlesbrough, I went to uh, Newcastle, not expecting to win, but we weren't expecting to lose, right? And then we come here with exactly the same, exactly the same attitude, and that for me shows that we're at a, at a, at a, in a wonderful place. It's a very proud day to be a Luton Town fan today and uh, congratulations on the performance to the team and to everybody involved in uh, the draw here. Thank you, thank you. Thanks a lot, Nathan.